Yeah, so look where I find myself today. All right, we got a we got a lot of territory to cover on this rest stop. It was just burning in my mind last night. It's like you got a rest stop that's closing down that was built in 1957. 57 to now, I mean, there's some silver coins in there, but jewelry. Let's get in here and see if we can find some jewelry. My wife said she wants another diamond ring. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do it. I wouldn't mind some uh, rubies, some emeralds, and whatnots, but uh, let's go see what we can find. I'm going to skirt the, uh, the wood line, too, for all those criminals that like to toss their handguns stuff like that so we'll go in uh, tossing distance there's a fence there's a fence right there you see but we'll go in tossing distance and we'll just search along that wood line but I'm gonna start right here I'm searching the northbound side because here's my thinking people from Florida headed up through North Carolina to go to the north they're probably gonna be wearing less clothing so Less clothing means maybe some jewelry or some bling <laughs> and easy to fall off and not get caught inside the jewelry. Well, that's just my thought. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but then the southbound side, you got all the northerners coming down to, to go to Florida. They're probably bundled up a little bit more, you know, because they're coming from snow. <laughs> So they lose something, it'll get caught in their clothes. But that's just my theory. Let's get in here and let's find out. If I don't find anything on the northbound side, I'll go over to the southbound side. But I expect a lot of pull tabs. <laughs> so I'll show you what I find. Bear with me. We'll see ya. We got our first pull tab. I'm thinking there's gonna be a lot of these. And this is the main reason why I didn't want to come here. But hey, with a hint of jewelry, yeah, we got to get in and check. I can't let this just go. I got to do it. All right, so we got a 75 signal. So most of the uh, most of the p bottle tops that I'm finding are in the range of 26 to 30. So we're just going to skip over all the 26s and 30s today. And... Uh, this is a 75, so I put my headphones back on. All right, let's check it. Oh, it fell out. Yep, there it is. See it? It's a little dime. All right. Hey, first dime. Lots of clad. What's the what's the date on it? We want silver. That's a 2,000, oh geez, I can't read it. <laughs> can't read it. I think it says 1962, but that would be wrong because it would be silver. So I would be wrong. But anyway, let's find some jewelry. All right, see you on the next hole. A 45 signal. Ooh, that could be in the gold range. Didn't sound like gold though. Gold has more of a, a like a thud to it than it does a, a ping. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm getting a 40. It doesn't sound like it's gold, but could be. We just don't know. I doubt if it's a coin. It's reading awful low for a coin. Let's see what somebody lost. Could be a really big pull tab, I guess. Why, right, whatever it is, it's not presenting itself. Let's sweep that again real quick. That gold, gold. 
gold can really hide itself. It, um, yeah, that is a pull tab. Okay, this is the newer pull tab, so I'm getting a 40 on this. A 40 to a 45 on this aluminum, that's probably why. All right, so 26 to 40, 45, I'm going to have to uh, pay attention to. I don't want to dig too many of those pull tabs, but I also do not want to miss the gold because that's right in the gold range. Uh, why do they make things like that that come off and litter the ground? I don't know. I can't, I don't know. Why would they ever make something that would come off in litter the ground crazy these bottle companies these uh what do you call them coke companies coca-cola pepsi cola they should pay for all of the litter damage caused to this country for pull tabs yeah you coca-cola and pepsi pay for all that littering damage okay all right so we're going up this hill and I'm just going back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to hit every square inch of this place I can today. So, all right, we'll see you. Now, we got us a 57 signal. That's kind of low for a coin. But, could be a coin. I don't know. I would think 57 would be too low for a coin. That's more in the gold range than it is anything else man that is some clay all right so yeah it's a bottle cap all right Pepsi Pepsi bottle cap more litter from Pepsi Cola yeah get away scot-free with litter in the country oh I know they don't do it personally but they made the products that did it didn't they yeah so they should be liable okay it's just like if I made a product that burnt down your house my company would be liable. And these companies made products that littered our landscape in America. And they're not liable? It's crazy. All right, see ya. Yeah, so all I do is I take my knife and I slice the top of that off. And that's all I need to do when I'm in grass and in yards and stuff like that. And um, that way you don't make such a mess and you put the plug back. Yeah, just a piece of aluminum. I'm checking all the gold signs, gold signals. So, uh, you'll have to bear with me. Maybe I'll just uh, show you what I find. That way I'm not showing you all the, the junk today. Because there's going to be a lot of junk. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm just going to show you the good finds. And um, I'll show you the good finds and that'll be it. And uh, there's going to be too much junk to, di to dig. So... All right, so see you on the, the, the next good find. All right, later. We got our first dog tag. And that thing was down there. This will give us a date. It's an older one. I'm thinking this is definitely from the 50s and 60s. I can't read the date on that, but we'll check it out later. All right, moving on. See ya. Well, there's what we have so far, just for a few minutes worth of work. I have uh, a couple quarters in there. I'm not sure of the dates on these, but there's no silver yet. I should have brought an extra bag to keep the coins in and keep it separated from all the trash. But I found two quarters, a dime, and a penny, all just in this one little hole right here. And you can see the impression of one of them. There was another impression over there. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, yep, we're gonna have a lot of coins when this is over. And this is why I don't like hunting anything that's um, not 100 years old, because you just do a lot of digging. <laughs> all right, see ya. Not only is this tedious, digging every single good signal in an area full of uh, <laughs> pop tops and can slaw, but man, I got this clay to deal with too. This is some clay right here. I got some kind of, yeah, there it is. Another penny. 
I say another because, yeah, I got a pocket full already. 1984D. You know, too, the good thing about this, there's key dates, right? Yeah, and uh, it's hard to find key date coins in circulation. But I tell you what, it's easier to find them lost. I found quite a few key dates lost. I never found any in circulation, but lost. All right, so moving on, I'll show you if I find something good. No jewelry yet. Um, a lot of jewelry signals, a lot of jewelry tones, but they all are bottle tops and nickels and within that gold range. All right, I'll see you. You know, I haven't dug for clad coins in so long. I mean, it's it's got to be like <laughs> 25 years or more. I forgot how much these zinc coins just get eaten away by the ground. Just total garbage coins. Whoever's on that that design and that composition, huh, shame on you. This is America. All right, moving on. It's another quarter. I like finding those. Got plenty of them already. 82. Yep, moving on. Still have a little bit left to go. And uh, I did all that area down there. Okay, see ya. Massive coin spills everywhere. That one had two nickels and a penny. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of clad coins when I'm done. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with this area. Probably just let it overgrow, I imagine. No jewelry yet. I'll show you when I find it. Got another doggy tag. This one's for Duke. And his owner's name is Russ. And uh, he's from Royston, Georgia. So Russ, if you want your dog Duke's tag back, let me know. That's a nice one. Stainless steel. All right, moving on. Lots of coins, lots of coins. And another Fido tag. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. Whoa! Feeling a falling apart here. I see why it come come apart on that dog. No, I'm not gonna be able to get a date. It's an older one. Looks like in the 80s maybe. All right, moving on. <laughs> Almost to this section, I'm gonna cut through the woods. I'm actually just gonna go that way. Up and down, up and down until I reach the end. Yep, see ya. And yet another dog tag. Let's see here, this one's readable. Rabies vaccination. Uh, Usher Animal Hospital. Merton Street. Toronto, Ontario. Wow. That's from way up there. Yep. 2010. Okay. No jewelry. No jewelry yet. Uh, nickels. Older nickels. About in the same range as the older pull tabs. Newer nickels. Um, about 18, 16 pennies all over the place. Those zinc pennies, garbage. The signals are just garbage. I don't know how y'all do it. You uh, you clad hunters that go to parks and stuff. I just don't know how you do it. Um, kudos to you for uh, being able to go out and search in, in uh, all this trash, this modern trash. <whistles> Can't do it. <laughs> um, no jewelry. I gotta get some jewelry before I go home. All right. See ya on the next find. Yeah, well, you know, I made it through the woods a little bit here. I started way up there on the other side. Just a whole bunch of coins. No jewelry yet. Got a 69 signal here. I'll just have you dig it with me and you can feel my torture. <laughs> digging, digging, digging. Lots of stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow, neat. Can you believe it? It's a... What do you call it? Uh, yeah, a bottle top. Wow! 
mellow yellow. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Why did I agree to come here today? I don't know. The allure of jewelry and gold and rubies and emeralds. Treasure hunters, you know? You just whisper gold to them and they'll be like, Really? Where? Silver? Really? Where? <sighs> Not here. <laughs> I haven't found a single silver coin. Um, just all clad. And pop tops and bottle tops and trash. Can slaw. Yeah, so. But I'm going up there. Going up there through the woods a little bit. You know, I imagine in 1957, it wasn't this open. I think they expanded that through the years. I'm betting, I'm betting it was down a little bit more, you know? And it wasn't, uh, you know, this is newer stuff. That's probably older stuff. But I don't know. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Got some old trees, you know? All right, so see you when I pull something up. Ooh, wow, oh, wow, it's another clad coin. Yeah, another dime. You know, I'm getting really proficient at ID and uh, pop tops and bottle tops and before I even dig them. So I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Although my 100-year-old plus sights, they don't have a lot of pop tops. <laughs> Or clad coins. But it's Sunday. What else do I have to do? Alright, see you on my next clad coin. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? I hope so. Let me bump that volume up a little bit. I think it's already up, but I want you to hear what I'm hearing. Listen to what I'm hearing. Pop top. This is relic mode. Pop top. detect this way with these wide sweeps. There's so much area to cover though. A deep pop top. Interesting signal, 60. I want to dig that. All right, let's go back and get the shovel. Dig those up real quick. We got a penny and a pop. Well, not a 60 signal. I don't know what that is. Uh, could be one of those big pop tops. I found a couple of those. I'm not sure what they went on, but. There's a lot of trash in here, too. Yeah, these coins, too, man. They, they can be... Oh, is that our first piece of jewelry? Oh, what is that? It's a little charm. 
It rang up as a penny, probably because it's cheap. Silver plated. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's our first piece of jewelry. Nothing special, but it's something. Nice. All right, let's see what this 60 signal was. No telling. Could be a bottle top. Wasn't very loud for a bottle top, though. You just never know what you're going to get up here. So many people coming through. You just never know. I'm not sure how people do this all day long. Go to these parks and do this stuff. And it's a lot of modern trash. All right, I'm not seeing it. I got to get my detector and find that. Yeah. They're building a brand new one. Like, I don't know, 30 miles that way. So, this one uh, has been here, I think, since 1957. Something like that. All right, well, if it's anything significant, I'll bring you back. Yeah, that's about as much fun as I want to have digging clad coins. Found a lot. <laughs> I probably could find a lot more. But it just started getting to the point where I stopped even caring. <laughs> I don't know how y'all do it. I started out when I was uh, like 10 years old. I forget. I had my first detector. Yeah, I started out going to the parks and uh, the drive-in theaters and... Yeah, I remember wading through all that bottle top garbage for clad coins. Never did amount to anything, so uh, I stopped doing that and started finding old houses to go to, and, and that made things a lot better. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's it. I'm done. No jewelry. I didn't really expect to find jewelry. You know, think about think about uh, how rare it is anyway to find a piece of jewelry just laying somewhere. And uh, it's tough. It's rare. And I find jewelry out at old house sites. Of course, those are old pieces of jewelry, rings and charms and stuff. We found a charm here, didn't we? That's a cheap little silver-plated one. But yeah, nice day. I gotta get home. <laughs> see, check out these dates. <laughs> and see if there's any key dates, at least. Because then it would be a nice day. That would be significant. And it would be worth it. So... I hope I have a key date. At least one would be nice. Got a mess load of quarters. I'll show you what I got here in a minute. So uh, I'll meet you over at the motorcycle and I'll show you what I got. All right, well, you ready to take a peek at all my efforts? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not impressed, but maybe you will be. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, look at that. A whole mess of top tops and screw tops and you name it. Found some older ones too. But no silver. No silver coins in there whatsoever. It's just uh, 80s. I don't know. There's probably 60s in there too, maybe. But <laughs> just a pile of junk, really. I mean, what are you going to do with that? Um, and a junky, you know, whatnot. Well, those are nice. I'll keep those. Because um, I do have a collection of dog tags. So, they're not quite as old as the ones that I normally find. The uh, 1930s and 1940s. Um, but, you know, they're collectible. <laughs> And their dog tags, so I'll save those. And um, I don't know, I'll save those too. I guess I gotta clean them up, <laughs> bring them home, and check for the dates. So, yeah, <laughs> that's what I get for for having this treasure fever. 
of jewelry, gold, silver, rubies, diamonds, ah, and I didn't find any of that, so, oh well, back to the old foundations, that's where I'm going, alright, so thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next hunt.